When will the Fed chairman Ben Bernanke start to turn off the tap? It's been the big question in financial markets for many weeks now, and investors are hoping that there will be some clues when the minutes of the July policy-making meeting are published in a few hours. The Fed is pouring $85 billion a month of newly created money into the financial markets. At some stage, as the US economy recovers, the Fed will start to curb that spending. Some economists think that could come as soon as next month. Just the possibility that it will be in the near future has already hit the markets. Share prices are off recent highs, borrowing costs for the US and many other governments have risen, and there's been a sell-off of emerging economies' currencies. India is a case in point. The country's stock exchange in Mumbai has suffered some sharp falls, and the currency, the rupee, has been hitting new lows against the dollar, aggravating the country's inflation problem. It is partly a story of specific obstacles to economic growth in India, but the currency is also affected by a global shift of cash to the US, as investors think that if the Fed does start to cut back its purchases of government debt, the returns to be made from buying those bonds might be on the way up soon. Andrew Walker, BBC News.